And how many times must I tell you, don't lie on the bed with your shoes on? Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry, darling. And don't, darling, me. Your brother's here. Your brother's come to see you. Well? I better see him, then. tell you how glad I am. You're better. Hunter sent me. Oh, well, that's all right. You're very suspicious. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to be, don't I? I'm an only child. My name's Cross. <clears throat> I've seen you before, haven't I? You're at uh, grade two, Walker's section. Not anymore. I'm grade one now. Oh, dear. You must be very short of men. <laughs> Perhaps. You're going up? Yeah. Doctor said I could go. Go where, Mr. Keller? Home. My flat. Home? Hunter, I didn't tell you. What was it Hunter didn't tell me? You don't have a home anymore. Are you sure Hunter come, didn't come, mention come, come it? Come on, what are you trying to say, huh? You've been in hospital five months, Mr. Keller. Oh, as long as that, is it? You were lucky. Oh, yeah, bullets with a lung. You should have my luck sometime. Yeah, five months a long time to leave a flat unoccupied. We closed it up. We? Well, actually, I did. Hunter's orders. What, what about my stuff? Oh, your furniture. I sold it. A uh, junk man took it. He offered me 15, but I insisted on 20. I reckon I cheated him. What about my other things? Your toys, Jimmy. My model soldiers, I mean. I packed them up for you. They're quite safe. Oh. Don't mention it. <coughs> Look, Cross, um, what happens to me now? I mean, where do I go? You go and see Hunter. What for? He was here himself two days ago. Your appointment's for four o'clock. Oh, and, uh, Hunter doesn't like to be kept waiting. Oh, dear. Better get a move on, hadn't I? Well, it's first time out, so he's still disorientated. He looks all right. Well, doesn't he? I'm afraid I can't help you there, sir. I'm not really in a position to judge. How tactful you are, Cross. How very tactful. Yes, sir. Is Callan here? Not yet, sir, but shall I send him in as soon as he arrives? No, I shan't see him yet. Let Snell have him in here. Yes, sir. After that, send him down to the armourer. He can come in to me this evening. Yes, sir. Well, if you can't help me, I'd better let those who can. Mr. Callan, welcome back. Oh, Alice. Nice to see you. Oh, things have changed a bit, haven't they? I went to the old place. I mean, nobody told me. They redirected me here. Well, at least you haven't changed. You're to see Mr. Snell. Oh, are you sure? I'm, I was told that Hunter wanted to see me himself. Oh, yes, I booked you for 7.30, but you are to see Mr. Snell now. Why? Does so he think I'm balmy or something? I'm just passing oh, on his... I'm sorry, Liz, sorry. Sorry. Right, where is he? In there, Mr. Hunter's office. Here we go. Yes? Ah, uh, Callan, please come in.
No, don't sit down. No. Take your coat off. Just loosen your shirt. Sorry, I'll... No, it's perfectly all right, old chap. Just relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Very nice. Very nice. Does it bother you at all? No, no, not at all, no. Mm -hmm. No pain here? No. Uh. Or here? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, it's uh, bound to take a little time. Yeah, well, I mean, you kept prodding it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm all right. You're doing splendidly. Does your head still ache? Uh, well, you know, it does a bit sometimes. Badly? Yeah, it hurts like hell. Poor chap. <laughs> Is it hurting now? No, well, yeah, a bit, a bit, you know, just a bit, that's all. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can sit down now. Oh, thank you. Mia shot you. Yes, but you don't resent that fact? Well, why should I resent it? Well, it caused you a great deal of pain. Put you in hospital for five months. Are you sure you don't resent it? After all, one could hardly blame you. No, he was doing his job. It was his job to shoot you? Why? I... I'd killed Hunter, didn't I? Yes, but you've been brainwashed, hadn't you? It wasn't your fault. That was a terrible thing, that, you know. Worst thing I, I, I've ever. Would you be upset for me, Cross, under similar circumstances? I trust the circumstances would never arise. Sir. So do I, believe me. I gather you wouldn't consider discharging him. He really is very disturbed, sir. And useful. You've seen his record. Wouldn't you say he was useful? I'd say he used to be, sir. A dead shot with a cold nerve to kill. Just like you. There's a shortage of your type, Cross. A great shortage. Don't let me hurt your feelings, dear boy, but... Callan was the best of you. I don't think he is anymore, sir. Can't you find anybody else? I would if I could. There is nobody else. Now we'll give Callum three more days to find out what he's like. It'll take a miracle. Resurrection usually is. Well, thank you. I don't think I need to bother you anymore. Well, I'm um, fit for work? Well, my dear chap, of course not. I think you've had enough for today. Look, I'm all right now, believe me. You've made a remarkable recovery. I'm sure Hunter will find something for you. Yeah, what? Ah, there you take me out of my depth, I'm afraid. Better talk to him about that, I think. But first you have to see the armourer. Mr. Callan, great to see you. Hello, Mr. Judd. I heard you had a pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, Mum, I'm all right now. Great, great. Tell me, how are the reflexes? I haven't changed. Well, let's find out, shall we? Over here, please, Mr. Callan.
Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Callum. When the bell goes. Ay, ay, ay. You should have been with me in Youngstown, Ohio. We'd have made a fortune, man. Hey, you know, you're right. You haven't changed. Three tenths of a second. Okay. Let's have another go. All right, Mr. Callum. Nice one. All you got to do now is pull the trigger. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Callum. Over here, please. This guy? No, no, no. no I'm a Magnum, 38. All right. That's okay. Yeah, well, I'd like to check it myself. That way you live longer. Right. Okay, Mr. Callan, let's, let's fire a few rounds just to loosen up. You, oh, here, you better put these on. As you know, it's liable to get noisy in here. Well, you're getting posh of this place, aren't you? Hey, I got them from a guy in Brooklyn. Huh? Okay, Mr. Callan, in your own time. Okay, let's have five more. Huh? Do you mind if we dispense with these? I'll join you. Two inners, three on the nose. Well, he's quite quick on the clock, and he's hit six bulls and four inners in ten rounds. Has he fired at the figures? No, dear. He will. It's possible you may be disappointed. I very often am. Go on. You listened? Some of it. Do I really have to enlarge on that? Yes, please, Doctor. It is important. He was with me for 17 minutes. And? Callan's attitude throughout was conciliatory, even humble. Yes, I was afraid of that. It may be a temporary reaction to his wound. But you don't think so? I do not. In my opinion, there is a gross retardation of the aggressive instinct. In your own idiom, it would probably be lack of moral fibre. An NCO might describe him as a gutless wonder. Can you cure it? No. The only man who can cure it is Callan. He isn't really ill, you know, just unwilling to be shot at. But more important from your own point of view, unwilling to kill. Can you help him then? Bring him back to what he was. Callan's always functioned on controlled aggression against authority. Yes, I have read his file. To him, Hunter, or the man seated in your chair, personified authority, whoever he was. And quite often, Callum did what that man wanted, but always he defied him first. Go on. I doubt if Callum will defy you again. Ever. And if he doesn't, he's finished. Supposing he did defy me? Well, then he's cured, but it's extremely unlikely. I need this man. Uh, you knew him before all this. How would you have described him? Brave, aggressive, sexually normal, no significant traumas. Quite ruthless once he believes in the justice of his cause. And deadly with a pistol. How many have I got like that? Six, possibly seven. None in his class. 
Can you wonder that I want him back? I sympathize, believe me. But? But I don't think I'm a good risk anymore. Unless he defies me. Exactly. But I don't think he will. What kind of thing would make Callan most likely to defy me now? A threat to another human being. One he was fond of. One who was dependent on him. Oh, that most of all, but... Uh... Yes, sir? Bring me the file marked Lonely. Lonely, sir. Is that the yellow cover, sir? No, white. Turn on the television, will you? All right. You got three targets, five rounds. I want you to shoot two, two, and one. So you start from the left, two, two, and one. You reload. Pan from right to left, two, two, and one. Okay? You've been doing good, so we won't rush you. You got 30 seconds. Wait for the bell. Just terrific, that's all. You didn't miss one. I should still like to see him fired at the figures. You will. Okay, Cam. From the draw. Four rounds, two in each, heart and head. Um, uh, I'm a bit tired, uh, Mr. Judd. I've had enough for one day, thanks. That's uh, orders, Mr. Callum. All right. Okay, Mr. Callum. On the bell, please. You missed a lot. Get lost. Buy a pencil, please. Help an old soldier. Look, I know he's a friend of yours. Scarper, will you? You're bad for business. He's also a friend of mine. Uh, Wellington! Wellington! <coughs> this geezer's picking on me. No, no, I'm just looking for a mate of mine. You're looking for a thick ear picking on a blind man? I'm not picking on him. I'm just looking for a mate of mine called Lonely. I don't know no Lonelies. No, no, all right. Well, I'll... I'll have a couple of pencils. OK, here you are. Well, it doesn't really matter about the pencils, here, I mean. Can't write anyway. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, bloody soul. What's the matter, Dad? He gave me a dot half-crowned look. 
Why? No, no, uh, no, son. Let him go. He's lonely. It's bad news. Are you sure you won't take something? Oh, no, sir. Thank you. A little whiskey. I have an excellent malt here. Oh, no, not just at the moment, sir. Thank you. Well, David, you really are much better than when I saw you in hospital. Oh, I'm feeling great now, sir. Great. That's really excellent news. Yes. Where's Toby? Toby? Toby Mears. Mears? Oh, he's in Washington at the moment. Americans find his particular kind of polished villainy very appealing. Did you want to send him a message? No. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, just no hard feelings, that's all. For shooting you? How could there be? He was on section business. So was I. Well, I mean, I thought up I was. The inquiry exonerated you, Callan. You're quite clean. Sir, I, I wondered. I, I really would like to get started now. And yes? I'll... Mr. Ledger is here, sir. Oh, dear. Look, I'd better come out. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do take a drink, old you? Wait. You have no idea how I've been looking forward to this little chat. Sir, I, I realize that I have got a lot to catch up on. You take your time, David. We don't want to rush you. Yeah, but I would like to get started. Yes, well, as soon as something comes up. No, I mean, I would like to start work now. No, I hardly think so. There's absolutely nothing worthy of your talents at the moment. Well, I have enjoyed this little chat. Now, do keep in touch. Drop in any time you feel like look, it. Look, sir. I, oh, I yes, think... money, all that Oh, no, it's, it's got nothing to do. I mean, I'm and all right for money. The address it's... is on the key. No, I hope you find it comfortable. Thanks. Not at all. Now, if there's anything else I can do, David, anything at all, Goodbye, old chap. Cup of tea, please, love. trouble, mister. I'm warning you. No trouble, darling. No trouble. Cheers. Mm. You seem lonely lately. I don't get you. Lonely. He's a little fella. He pongs a bit, you know. Have you seen him lately? Wellington! Wellington! Oh, blimey, not again. Put him out! You want a scolded Wellington? Oh, no, no. Stay quiet, Wellington. There's a good boy. Yeah, Wellington, there's a good boy. Right, now let's start again, shall we? I'm looking for a mate of mine. His name's Lonely. Have you seen him? Never heard of him. Well, you have got your troubles, haven't you? Well, not only have you got bad manners, you've got a bad memory as well. You're his auntie, darling. Here. Yeah. That's right. All right, Wellington, you can push off. Yeah, bye-bye, Wellington. So you call yourself a mate of his? That's right. You wasn't no mate of his when he was nicked. Nicked? Six weeks ago, larceny. Money and goods found you 30 quid. Looking all over for you, he was, before the brothers got him. He's in Brixton this minute, remanded in custody. 
and you didn't even know. Huh. Call yourself a mate of his. Take your time. There's no hurry. Oh, I bought you something to read. I've got a book. Oh. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. Tell me, what happened? I just went back thieving, didn't I? I got nicked. I don't know how it happened. I suppose it's just lost a touch, that's all. Anyway, it caught me, I got done. Larceny, money and goods. It's funny, isn't it? What? I think I must have been working with you for too long. Just lost your touch, no good for solo jobs no more. Well, why the hell did you do it? I got to eat, didn't I? Well, I'd have given you money, wouldn't I? Yeah, but you weren't there, was you? You weren't there, not when I needed no, you. No, I'm... I've been ill, haven't I? Yeah, me and all. My back was playing me up something shocking. But don't worry, it's all right now. They've got a bloody good doctor in here. Yeah, and you get smashing grub here and all. Well, at least it's better grub than I was getting outside while you was being ill. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all right. I mean, worse things happen at sea. I know what a busy man you are. Lonely, I am sorry. Now, please, sit down, will you? Oh, sit. No, no, listen, I'm going to get you out of here. Are you joking? No, I'm not, I'm not joking, mate. I'm going to get you bail. Oh, come on, you're talking wet. I'm a habitual criminal, mate. I've got 11 previous convictions. i pulled 23 jobs. How are you yeah. going to get bail well, for me? Well, I, I thought of a way. Yeah, just don't do us no favours. Arthur Dodd says he'll get me off for three years. Well, who's Arthur Dodd, then? He's my solicitor. The one at the court, give me. In three years, that's nothing. It's just over two if you get full remission. Two, I can do that. Stand on my head. In fact, I'd rather do it, get it all over with. You mean you don't want bail, then? No, I don't. It's cushy in here on remand. You get special grub, you get snack. You can even have a bottle of beer. If you've got a friend who'll bring... That's all I want from you. Just, just you bring me a bottle of beer. Listen, mate, I'll get you out on bail. You can have as much beer as you like. I don't start trying to do his favours now. It's a bit late for all that, innit? For God's sake, don't you want my help? No, I don't want your help. No, I don't want your beer, neither. You did leave me alone. I want to go back. I've had enough. I'm afraid bail's out of the question. Because of his record, you mean? Well, precisely. I mean, who'd stand bail for him? Who'd risk their money on a runt like that? He likes prison. Why not let him enjoy it? Because it would destroy him, you know that. Indeed, I don't. Listen, runts like lonely, right? They they get so used to prison they're not a, they just wander about the place like a lot of zombies. You speak from experience, no doubt. I do. You know, he's comfortable, well fed, he even takes baths. Why not leave him where he is? Because that means leaving him to you, mate. Well, what's it to you anyway? He's a mate of mine, you wouldn't understand it. Need him for a job, do you? Okay, Mr. Dodds, do me a favour, will you? Don't you push your luck, mate. All right. Uh, brief a good barrister and let him apply to the High Court judge, if you've got the money to spare. Oliver Henshaw be any good, would he? Henshaw? Well, his fees are 500 a day, minimum. Would he be any good? Well, of course he would, but... Right, I'll get him. But you have to approach him through me. He's stir crazy, poor bastard. Mr. Henshaw is unable to see anyone. No, will you just tell him we were in Malaya together? Oh, you know Mr. Henshaw? Yeah, I do know Mr. Henshaw, yes. I'm afraid Mr. Henshaw left orders, strict orders, that he was not to be disturbed. If you'd care to leave your name and no, address... I'm sir. sorry, I've got to see him now. Out of the question, I'm afraid. All right, all right, suit yourself. What the devil do you want? I'm sorry, Mr. Henshaw. You haven't changed much, have you? Am I supposed to know you? You did once. You were my company commander, sir. Here, see if you can pick me out of that lock. I'm sorry, Mr. Henshaw. 
Good Lord. Yeah. You haven't changed much either, have you? Well, you have another look at that photograph. You remember me now, Captain? Yes. Well, I've changed my name since then. Oh, is that what you've come to see me about? Well, I'm sorry, I don't get you. Well, a change of name usually means trouble. I've had my share of that. No doubt. Yeah. No, it's not my trouble I've come to see you about. Oh, uh, who's then? Well, a mate of mine. Yes, what's he done? He's a thief. Oh. A successful thief? Well, he's in the nick. He wasn't very successful outside either. Now, this is a case of larceny, money and goods, 30 quid. 23 similar offences. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> and you want me to defend him? That's right. But first of all, I want you to get him out on bail. He's remanded in custody. His case comes up next sessions. Why do you want to do this? Well, he's not doing much good in Brixton, is he? But he'd be doing good outside, eh? Good for whom? For you? That's right. You mean you've plans for him? Shall we just say I owe him something? I see. And I owe you something. Is that it? Well, that's it, yeah. No, you, uh, you defend him for me, we'll be all square. Hmm. Very well. One moment. Uh, we shall see Mr... Callan. Now. Quite so, sir. Mr. Callan saved my life in Malaya at considerable risk to his own. He obviously isn't going to let me forget it. We shall be pleased to take your instructions, sir. Thanks. What the hell are you doing here? So, I surprised you, Mr. Callan. I brought you a spare key. Ah. Oh, and your box of toys. Have you seen your smelly friend yet? Who told you about loneliness? Charlie Dick. After your unfortunate accident, Lonely became a problem. I solved it. Oh, yeah? How? Oh. I had him watch. After a while, he began to steal things. I told the police. <laughs> it was you, was it? Yeah, it's rather neat, don't you think? Out of harm's way? Do you mind, Mr. Cullen? I thought it was a friend of yours. He was. So what can I do about it? Visit him. I've done that. I know. Oh, I know, you know. And? Offered him help, he didn't want help. Not mine, anyway. Oh, no. Is something wrong? Yeah, this one, it's broken. Oh, what a pity. We'll have to get Daddy to mend it. Eagle bearer, life grenadiers. It was the best of the lot. Lonely in prison, your best soldier broken. You do have the most rotten luck. Oh, by the way, uh, Hunter, sent you his best. Does he want to see me, then? No, of course not. Why should he? Take a look at yourself, Mr. Callan. You're a bit of a risk, aren't you? Don't be ridiculous. I do all right. What gave you that idea? Well, he did. Well, you did, didn't you? Do your porridge, you said. Three years is not too bad. You come up with a clean slate. That's what you said, wasn't it? Well, all right, then I'll do it. It makes sense. You can guarantee three years. Yes, he says I can, so I don't need no fancy lawyers. And I don't need no bail, neither. Now, you listen to me. You'll do as you're told. Oh, blimey. You changed your tune. He put a wind up you, didn't he? What are you talking about? Callan. He's trying to help you, and so am I. Well, I don't want his help, and I don't need yours, neither. As your instructing solicitor... Dodds, I... just leave us alone for a while, will you? Uh, yes, yes, of course, Mr. Henshaw. Oh, yes, yes, of course, Mr. Henshaw. Go on, you bloody crawler! See him? He'd swallow that snuff box is if you told him to. Now, listen to me, Lonely. Dodds is wrong. For what you did, you could get seven years. Huh? Maybe ten. 
Go. You're joking. I've seen your record, old son. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't deny that I've got a bit of form. A bit of form? You've been in and out of prison and approved school since you were nine years old. Yeah, well, I come from a broken home, you see. If it comes to that, so do I. But you've been in detention for a total of 15 years for 134 known offences. Me? 134. I added them up. No, I mean, I've been busy, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but the old lot don't add up at 5,000 quid. Just over four. You're a pest, old son, a bloody nuisance. To the police, the public, even to your own counsel. Most of all, to the judge. Huh? You, you don't reckon he'll try and take it out on me? Oh, I'm sure of it. But, I mean, Dodds, he said... And now I'm saying, who do you believe? Well, here, what are we going to do? What I say. Oh, Jimmy, I should let Callan stand by off for me. It will help. How? It'll show you someone to stand by you. Then when it comes to the trial, I can ask for a suspended sentence. What do you mean? Well, I can plead that Callan will look after you as a friend, so you don't get into trouble again. Blimey, you don't know my friend Callan at all, do you? I thought I did. Oh, him? Keep me out of trouble? Oh, stone me. Why does Cannon want you out? Because he... Oh, oh just forget it, Mr. Hinch. Look, anything you tell me is privileged, Lenny. Yeah, you better tell Callan that. Are you trying to suggest he's a criminal? He's big, Cap Blank. Bloody big. I'll tell you, if I had half of that geezer's nerve, I would not be sitting here discussing 134 known offences for 4,000 quid neither. You talk as if you admired him. You've got to. That bloke is hard. Right, all the way through. I thought you hated him. Yeah, and then why shouldn't I? Where was he when I needed him? Well, wouldn't you say that's a very ambivalent attitude? <laughs> look, look, have we got to have Callan? I'm afraid so. Oh, all right, then, whatever you say. And Mr. Inshaw, oh, I hope to God we know what we're doing. Because... I reckon Callan is slipping. Nervous, Callum? No, I'm just careful, that's all. Sit down. Uh, it's all right. Cup of tea? Uh, no, thank you. Well, what do you want? I'm during the judge's chambers in an hour. I want to talk to you first. I'll go on and talk away. What's your relationship with Lonely? Relationship? What kind of a word's that? He's a very sad little man. He's pathetic. He admires you very much. Oh, that's nice. For God's sake, don't waste my time. He admires you because you're a success at the kind of thing in which he fails. Oh, yeah. Did he tell you that? I deduced it. Yeah. He's not a very bright little man. Why do you want him out, Let's Callan? just say it's my good deed for the day. Now, why? So he can steal Can't for you, you instead of for himself? Please. Will you shut up, please? Please. Are you ill? No, I'm not ill. I've got a bloody headache, that's all. I'm... Got some pills to take for it somewhere. I'm sorry about all this mess. Oh, here they are. I had to queue up two hours for these things. It's about time they started doing me some good. Are these yours? Yes. You like them? Mm. The detail's quite remarkable. Yeah. Not much like our old mob, are they? <laughs> you don't think it's kid stuff, then? Do you? I don't know. I've been thinking of trying to pack it in. This one's broken. Can't you mend it? Yeah, maybe.
Well, Mr. Callum, that went very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Oh, right. Was it all fixed up? So far, yes. This whole trip was very reasonable, I thought, under the circumstances. Now, the position was... I think perhaps I'd it. better attend to this, Mr. Dodd. As you please, Mr. Henshaw, as you please. Uh, you'll be getting in touch before we go to trial. Oh, yes, my clerk will call you. It'll be a pleasure. Good day, Mr. Callan, Mr. Merry. Good day, Mr. Henshaw. Right, what happened? You know, being polite to that man is almost too high a price to pay. Even for having one's life saved. Yeah. Let's cut the forensic witch, shall we? What happened? Bail will be granted in one surety, provided he reports to the police regularly. Well, I'll see he does that all right. In view of our client's record, I think the surety asked was not unreasonable. No, indeed, sir. Well, how much was it? Three thousand. Three thousand quid? Look, just put my case in the car, will you, Mr. Merrick? I'll be along in a minute. Very good, sir. Thank Mr. You. Callum? Three thousand pounds is somewhat beyond your reach, I gather. Too right, mate. Look, Callan, your friend is a recidivist, an habitual criminal. Is it really worth risking £3,000 you don't even have? That's my worry, not yours. I'll, I'll get it. Well, you'd better. The surety doesn't have to be yours, you know. Anyone will do. So long as they've got £3,000. Yes, precisely. No. I'd better get off them. Thanks. No, Callan, don't thank me. I got him out. I'll do my damnedest to keep him out. Now we're all square. Now we're all square. Captain. Oh, it's you. Do come in. Next time home. Sit down. Here, have a fag. I don't smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I was forgetting. Here. It is funny how you forget about people, innit? I understand it? you've got bail. Yeah, 3,000 quid. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? No. Still, I mean, you won't have to pull a wager snatch or nothing. No, you just go and have a glass of sherry with your bank manager while his understrap has opened up the vault. I don't have 3,000 quid. Oh, dear, you'll just have to pop one of your body chellies, oh, won't lonely, you? mate. I told you I'd been ill, didn't I? Yeah, and I've been nicked, and you said you'd get me out. Will you just lay off me? I'm, tr I'm trying to think. No, I won't lay off you. You're supposed to be a mate of mine. Look what you've done to me. You put a posh lawyer on to me. He says I'm going to get seven years. Only... Only you say, don't worry, Lonely, because you're going to get me bail, aren't you? You're going to get me a suspended sentence. Lonely, please. Please. When it comes to forking out your own money, that's different, innit? Yeah, then it turns out to be lonely, I'm sorry. Oh, lonely, I have been ill. And to hell with you, lonely, mate, cos I'm outside. I'm sorry, mate, what you built up? What were you built up? Please! <laughs> What's the matter, then, eh? Are you nervous, eh? Mm -mm. What are you nervous about, eh? And you never seen me like this before? <clears throat> Didn't I tell you I've been ill? Didn't I tell you that? Yes, Mr. Cannon. Well, I'm better now, mate. Do you understand that? So you just watch it. You watch your lip. You watch it now. You watch it always, right? Yes, Mr. Cannon. Now, you listen to me. I'm going to get that 3,000 quid, and Mr. Henshaw's going to get you out of here, and you are going to act very, very nice. Now, do you understand me? Yes, I swear I will, Mr. Cannon. Welcome back. Uh, Mr. Callan. That's right. My name's Wheeler, Detective Sergeant, Islington CID. What's it about? Mr. Henshaw said I'd find you here. It's about an application for bail. Oh, right. Nice place you've got here. Yeah, it's lovely. Your own property? No. Your own furniture? <laughs> Blimey, do me a favour. Would these be yours, sir? Yes, they would. Yeah, this one's broken. Yeah, I was going to fix that one tonight. Are they valuable? Yeah, but not 3,000 quid's worth. I mean, that's what you're on about, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Callan. I know people don't like being asked how much they're worth. Oh, I don't mind. I just don't know. Now, what's your job? Well, I'm in the junk business. You're doing well? Oh, yeah, yeah, very nicely. Mind you, I'm only a junior partner. Sergeant. Yes, sir? This money, it doesn't have to be mine now, does it? No, uh, anybody would do. Yeah, providing he's got 3,000 quid. Exactly. Well, you've got someone in mind. Yeah. 
Does he know the prisoner? Oh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he knows him all right. It'd be simplest if I took over from Callan, sir. Well, he's finished with the section, isn't he? Yes, I'm afraid so, Cross. He's not up to it anymore. It'll leave you one man short, but I'm sure I can handle Callan's work as well as my own. You just say I could call in at any time, sir. I am rather busy, Callan. Yes, so I see. Before you go, Mr. Callan, hand over your old files and give me your duty book. Oh, I see. It's not just a new office, then. It's a new governor as well, is it? I'm so young, too. Uh, one moment, Cross. There's no hurry, David, but if you could get it done, please. What are you up to? Merely normal procedure, Callan. Normal? What's bloody normal about you? What's normal about that? Just a moment, Callan. You're giving me the push, aren't you? Huh? Before I'd even had a chance. I don't call that normal. It's not even fair. Oh, we're never fair. If we can help it. If we were, we'd lose. You know there's work for me here. Not anymore, old chap. You're finished. All right, I'm finished. I suppose I can't force you to take me back. That's right. I'm not talking to you, Sonny. You, I can force any time I want. Who are you talking I'm talking about, about lonely, sir. Mm, that miserable little thief knows too much and he's a dangerous nuisance thanks to you. He happens to have been very useful. Those days are over, Callum. Like yours. You fixed him, didn't you? Of course. Right, sir, I now suggest you unfix him, because if you don't, I'll fix you. And I have done that before, haven't I, sir? Did you examine that white file on my desk? As if you didn't know. Any idea what the white files are for? They're to put you in prison, divorce courts, bankruptcy, mental homes. Do you know the colour of your file? It's psychological warfare, Callum. A way of immobilising people we don't particularly want to kill. Don't you bloody threaten me, mate! You really are the bottom, aren't you? I think you must come from a very special kind of cesspit. That's just what I wanted to hear. Problem solved. I think we did that rather well. Off you go, Cross. Oh. I see. It was the old initiative game, was it? I'm delighted you're back in form, Callum. You're in pretty good nick yourself, sir, which is just as well. I don't understand you. Oh, you started the game, now I'm going to finish it. You set this whole lonely business up to see if I had a few guts left, is that it? Yes. Right, well, I have, and I'm going to use them. Go on. How would you like to prove to me how important I am to the section? You know I can't. Oh, yes, you can, sir. It's very easy. You just get lonely out of neck. Organise a jail. I told you, sir, it's very easy. No. Yes. I have Detective Sergeant Wheeler on the open line for you, sir. Never heard of him. Do you want me to stay in the section, sir? One moment. If you do, I suggest you talk to Wheeler. I'm too busy. Please. Please talk to him, sir. All right, put him on. You're through, sir. Hunter speaking. Oh, Mr. Hunter, I'm sorry to trouble you, sir. This is Detective Sergeant Wheeler, Islington CID. Yes? I've just been having a chat with Mr. Callan. He tells me he's a junior partner in your business. Go on, I'm listening. It's a bail matter, Mr. Hunter. Mr. Callan says you'll be perfectly willing to stand surety for £3,000. Well, you did say anything I wanted, sir. Or are you going to tell him I don't belong here? That's perfectly in order, Sergeant. If you could give us some indication of your means, sir. I'll get my bank manager to contact you. Thank you very much indeed. Not at all. Goodbye. I should have your hide for this, Callan. Oh, come off it. If lonely was my initiative test, huh? Ah, well, I passed it, but if I'd failed, I'd be in a white file too, wouldn't I? You're lucky you're not in your grave. Yes, sir, we both are. <laughs> when I said lonely was the only chance you'd got, and when he comes up, I have to find three thousand pounds. All right. You're back with Charlie. Well, are you pleased about it? The question doesn't arise. Where else could I go?